I mean, uh, I made a pretty clear statement. And uh, my statement was, I said, Hage Futek. Now, politicians need to understand in this country that we are the masters. And they are our servants. Now, being me being the master, obviously a master has pets, which are dogs or whatever the case is. And in this case, these people just need to plain understand that we are the masters, they are our servants. And in a simple metaphorical way, I said, uh, I'm tired of this uh, dog, which is now my current servant, and the dog must protect. Local activist Michael Amishilelo said that he will not apologize to the head of state, President Haki Kinkop, and is not concerned with pressure groups and human rights activists condemning his actions. Now it's an opportune time for his loyal followers to try and obviously lick his, I don't want to say things, but to lick him now basically. You know dogs, they lick other dogs, so they are now trying to lick him for favors to say, Comrade, did you see how well I defended you in public against that small boy? Can you see how well I crafted my statement in your defense? So basically these people are doing it because they know very well that their master who is gang up is going to come back and ask them, when that small boy was there calling me a dog, what did you do? As long as gang up doesn't public come out and say that uh, he was insulted by me, I do not care whoever else comes out in his defense. If the man himself does not come out, because Gengob has a Twitter account, his access to Facebook, his access to your media, why doesn't he come out and say that he feels insulted by Amushelelo? Why is it that uh, other individuals are now catching feelings on his behalf? If the man feels insulted, then let him go to the police station, open a case of uh, assault or whatever the case is, whatever case can be opened against me for that matter, and then we take it from there. NEM rights activist Filia Nangolo said the expression of Amashilelo was different from other remarks made by other people also referred to as insults and added that the activists can be arrested and face the law. Okay, but, but there are some, some expressions that are not, uh, not really, I mean, that are actually f freedom of speech. To say somebody is a, a, a small boy, that, that, that is freedom of speech, effectively. Or you say, futsek, that is also freedom of speech. But when you say some, somebody, for example, is an insect, uh, and you relate to his or her tribal or ethnic origin, that, that, that creates a very serious problem. But in this case of, of uh, the Secretary General, who say just uh, insects, well, that may not necessarily be a, a, a violation of freedom of speech, depending upon how it was used. Because you, you must also have your turner, you must, you must be angry when you say those things. He, he does not expect uh, the president, for example, to go uh, out to the police station to lay a charge or something like that. What he actually done is a crime, uh, it's a public crime. So the police officers can go and get him without being, um, is, without anybody laying, laying a charge. You know, these are state crimes. These are high profile crimes. So he can be arrested in terms of that. And it was clear he was referring to him, to say he's a dog, and also referring to, to his race. And that is not the first time Mr. Amshelero has said that. I have uh, at least three videos of him where he makes those remarks. And I have, uh, and Nam Wright has expressed itself on numerous occasions about this specific problem. But then it continues, and it also made in the wider context where there was general uh, uh, crescendo of hate speech and attacks on, on, on not only the president, attacks on the inspector general of the police, attacks on the chief justice, attacks on, on uh, on other uh, um, representatives of power. The executive director in the Ministry of Information Communication at a recent press conference made it clear that the government does not concern itself with such matters, as society will be the one to judge. Therefore, society, and even society, will deal with everybody appropriately. It's not for government. So if it's for provocation towards government, we leave it with them. We are very mature.
We can't follow every fly. Flies have a right to fly. Yes, but you know they are not healthy. Amishilelo added that they will not stop protesting against President Hagi Kenko till the head of state resigns.